Welcome everyone, Adam. The woo here just stepped outside of that door and I am about to indulge. No, not in this slushy goodness. I am trying a blueberry thrill, which has almond milk and almond butter also inside. It's my second channel, daily vlog channel. It's the daily. It's so good. It's so good. Woo! Nailed it. On fire! Who you fucking bought? Man, false star. I'm in Just ordered an Uber and on our way out of this area for now. We're heading to the back side of Griffith Park, not the Hollywood sign side, but the other, the other angle to a place called Travel Town that opened in 1952. A lot of history there, a lot of old trains and television and movie history. Should be fun. And while we're on the subject of traveling, this would be one way to do it. This old bug, Herbie style. There are some artifacts from Northern California, San Francisco, to be exact. I've always loved this old rail car. After reading the information on the sign, the first cable car was in 1873. There's still a few of them around, but not as prominent as they once were. You know what killed the cable car? No. The Netflix car. <laughs> but I'm... <laughs> in 2009, this was carved out of a tree stating Casey Jones, and he is looming overhead right there. The one and only Casey. Look at that guy. Cars have definitely evolved and changed a lot over the years, especially the price. This one stated at $485, and back in the day, he used to get out of the vehicle itself and crank the engine. She's over there. She's over there cranking the engine. There's some very fascinating stuff inside this building, including this Shell Oil fire truck that was built in 1918. It used to put out a lot of fires all along the beach line. Check out the date, 1905. This old dairy mobile. Here comes the milk wagon. I almost said meat wagon. Meat is not dairy. Here comes the milk wagon. I've always been fascinated by trains, especially ones of this magnitude, the size of these. Just look at the, the sheer size of that light right there. You don't want to peek, it's like looking into the sun. Wait a second. That's a skunk right there. It's a conductor skunk. I knew something, I knew something was, I was wondering what that smell was. Okay, okay, I think I have found one of the items I've been looking for, this Union Pacific car, number 3669. This exact car was used in the 1970s song music video by Ford. You're as cold as ice. You're willing to sacrifice our love. I've seen it before, it happens all the time. Especially when it's right here, they were standing right there playing their musical instruments. At the very end of the video, the band is sitting in the windows and the camera pans by. Check out the placement of the 3669, the letter N and the letter P. It still looks exactly the same. That's how I figured out, look at that. 3669 in the same location as well as that N and that P, and the camera pan by, ending the musical video. What a classic. This caboose was created in 1900. It weighs over nine tons. In fact, to move it, they had to use a crane. Look at this old timey photo. Pretty crazy, that's, that's the same one we're looking at right in front of us. Using my Columbo-like research skills, that's Peter Falk walking across the train yard. The location of this has been moved, but it's the same one in that scene from Identity Crisis is the name of the episode. Still says Pacific Electric. The door has been boarded up, but everything else looks completely identical. Oh yes, true Columbo-like research skills achieved. One of the many, many things I love about this area is the movie, television, 
in music history. It's incredible. Ever since I was a very young wee lad, I was always fascinated the way things were filmed and made and where they were, where they took place. Being out here, it really exhumes me with joy to know that there's so many items and places that I can always search out and find and research. It's, it's gonna be cool being in this area and finding little tidbits, tidbits like what I just showed. Contest, not a race. Slow down. Oh. Ah. What are you doing? Enjoying the shade out here? It is pretty beautiful when you're under the shade of a tree. Don't go too close. You're getting you're in the sun now. Come back in the shade. Do not go towards the light. Do not go towards the light. What's up with this date here? What do you think? Why do you think that is written 2022? Someone came from the future. The future. They're trying to warn us. What does it say on here? They're warning us about the cobwebs. We're going to be attacked in the future by cobwebs. I am having a tough time finding this train, however, behind Peter Falk there on the tracks. The only thing I can figure is they have repainted it, and this is the same one. No longer a red one right there on the front, but they have painted it black and have moved the cattle guard. I think it's the same one because I've checked out every single train. Yeah, you have, you have you have perused around. Looked. You personally looked yourself, and that's what we're thinking. That's that's both of our consensuses. Is that Profes a word? Professional opinion. Is that a word? Consens consensuses? Consensus? Consensi. What? Ah! <laughs> I like that. This is showing the progression of how the tracks were laid. You can see back in 1865, instead of using concrete to hold the rails, they use basically pieces of timber and wood. And then in 2012, 136 pound rails, cast iron ties, and something called a pandrel plate and clips. Oh, there he comes. That'll think. I'm over here. I got a whistle. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Oh, there you are, man. I couldn't find you. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Fail! If you look there in the distance, you can see one slithering through the canyon very slowly. This is going to be awesome when it's finally completed. Oh, there's another one. I've always loved miniature versions of trains. Big fan. Do not be confused because it's spelled upside down. We are clearly in an Uber en route to get a little dinner. Arrive now at the oldest big boys in America, established 1949. And looking over the menu, it's hard not to get distracted by, by that guy right there. There is a heck of a lot of history inside this building. The most famous historical aspect and I don't want to make it super awkward because they're sitting in this booth but right here to the left of it is a little placard stating the fact it was their help album that was being released in the US pretty freaking cool I love the Beatles so pretty amazing fact I've always stated it's never too late in the day for breakfast food and lately I've been really enjoying corned beef hash a club sandwich yep you're part of the club now you're part of the big boy club you're part of the big boy club no pun intended because we're inside a uh, big boy mission accomplished and i got another can you see it i got another trucker hat there walk down the road just a bit at the entrance or one of the entrances gate two to warner brothers harvey corman came running out of here with pie on his face at the end of blazing saddles ran across the road right here next to this pole there was a taxi drive me off this picture and what an unusually awesome coincidence here comes our uber drive me off this vlog back on the boulevard now and i'm wondering now that i see steve gutenberg's star do you think he ever just shows up down here in los angeles and remembers the good old days of cocoon and police academy and thinks Man, three men and a baby. 
Those are the good old days. That's what I would do if I was Gutenberg. I actually really like that guy. I don't think he gets as much respect as some people give him. See you guys tomorrow. Vlog? Have you ever heard of Steve Gutenberg? No. Vlog? Over.